Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from mensuration. This question has three sub questions. So let us start with the first one. The diagram shows a cylinder containing water. There is a solid metal sphere touching the base of the cylinder. Half of the sphere is inside the water. The radius of the cylinder is given as 12 cm and the radius of the sphere is 3 cm. The sphere is removed from the cylinder and the level of water decreases by h cm. Show that this decrease in the level of water is 0 0.125. Now here in the question it's given that the cylinder is filled with a little amount of water which is shown as a shaded region here and a sphere is being immersed inside this water and because of the weight and volume of the sphere the level of the water increases by certain amount. Now imagine that you are going to remove this sphere from the water. Since you are removing the volume of the sphere now, the level of the water drops. Now by how much amount the level of the water drops, we need to find it out. So this establishes a relationship between the volume of the water and the volume of the sphere. As the sphere is immersed inside the water, the level of water increases and as it is taken out, the height of the water falls. Now we can write volume of the water is equal to half the volume of the sphere because only half of the sphere is inside the water. So let us write over here. Volume of water is equal to half the volume of sphere. The volume of water is nothing but the volume of the cylinder because the water has taken the shape of the cylinder. So now we can rewrite this as volume of cylinder is equal to half times the volume of sphere. Now let us write down the respective formula of volume of cylinder and volume of sphere. Pi r square h is equal to 1 over 2 times volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. Now the radius of the cylinder is given as 12 cm and the radius of the sphere is given as 3 cm. So let us write down the values here. Pi times the radius of cylinder is 12. So 12 square times height that is the level of water which has decreased is equal to half times 4 over 3 times pi times the radius of the sphere is 3 cm. So it is 3 cube. So let us further simplify this. The pi divides from both the side of the equal to sign. So we have 12 square which is 144 times h is equal to. Now 1 over 2 and 4 divide each other. So 2 1 times and 2 2 times. So we are left with 2 over 3 times 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Now 3 and 27 can also be divided so we can write it as 3 1 times and 3 9 times. So now you are making h as the subject h is equal to 2 times 9 is 18 over 144. So let us check how much we get over here. So that gives us 1 over 8. So in the decimal form we will get it as 0 0.125. So here the level of water decreases by 0 0.125. So we have shown that the level of water decreases by h equal to 0 0.125. Now let us move on to the part b of this question. The water in the cylinder is poured into another cylinder of radius r centimeter. The depth of the water in the cylinder is 18 centimeter. Calculate the value of R. So it is the same cylinder and from that cylinder we are going to pour the water into another cylinder. So this is the cylinder we had. Now we have removed the sphere. So let me draw again the cylinder without the sphere. So I have redrawn the same cylinder over here. And here the radius is 12 cm as it was given. And since this cylinder is without the sphere, we have removed the sphere, the level of water falls. So here the height of the water was 3 and in the part A we had got that when we remove the sphere, the height falls to 0 0.125. 
So now the new height of the water is going to be 3 minus 0 0.125 which is 2.875. So once we remove the sphere, this is the new level of water. So this is the height of the water in this cylinder now. Now it's given that from this cylinder the water is being moved into a new cylinder and now the depth of the water or the height of the water is 18 centimeter and we have to find out the radius of the new cylinder. Now here I have given the names as cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 and as we can see the water from cylinder 1 is being moved into cylinder 2. That means the volume of water in cylinder 1 stays the same as the volume of water in cylinder 2 because we are just dropping it from cylinder 1 into cylinder 2. So we can write that the volume of water in cylinder 1 is equal to the volume of water in cylinder 2. So let me write over here. So volume of water in cylinder 1 is equal to volume of water in cylinder 2. Now volume of water is nothing but the volume of cylinder because water has taken the shape of cylinder. So we will write here the formula for volume of cylinder. So pi r square times h1 because radius of the cylinder and height of the water in the cylinder is different from the radius of the second cylinder and height of water in the second cylinder. So now let us just simplify this further. The pi divides each other from both the sides so we can just cancel it out. The radius of the first cylinder is 12 cm so let us substitute here 12 square times level of water that is height of water in first cylinder is 2.875 so let us substitute here h1 is equal to we have to find out the radius of the second cylinder so let us write here r square which is the one we need to find times the level of water in the second cylinder is 18 so here we multiply it with 18 so now let us find out the value of r so r square is equal to we can write 12 square is 144 times 2.875 divided by 18 so taking the 18 on the other side it divides then r will be equal to square root of this entire thing square goes on the other side so it becomes square root of 144 times 2.875 divided by 18. So let us see how much we get over here. So we get the value here as 4.7958. So I am going to round it to 3 decimal places. So it will be 4.796. So let me write here R is equal to 4.796 centimeter. So this is the radius of the cylinder 2. Let us move on to the last part of this question. The spear is melted down and some of the metal is used to make 30 cubes with edge length 1.5 cm. Calculate the percentage of metal not used. So let me refer to the figure which was given in part A. So this was the figure given and this is the spear they are talking about here. We are going to melt down the same spear of radius 3 cm and we are going to use some metal from the spear to make 30 cubes with edge length that is the length, the height and the width of a cube is going to be 1.5 cm. We have to find out the percentage of metal which is not used from the spear. So for that let us find out first the volume of the spear independently and the volume of the cube. So here we write the formula for volume of spear. It is given as 4 over 3 pi r cube where r is the radius. So let us substitute the values we have 4 over 3 from the formula times pi times the radius of the spear is 3 cm given so 3 cube. So let us find out how much value we get here. So we get here as 36 pi or in terms of decimals we get 113.097. So let me write here 113.097 centimeter cube. 
and take up to three decimal places to get maximum accuracy in the answers. Now let us find out volume of one cube. So we have the formula as length times width times height. This is for one cube. So we are going to write it as 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. Now likewise we have made 30 cubes as given in the question. So it is used to make 30 cubes. So this was for just one cube. So in case of 30 cubes we can write 30 times 1.5. Since it is repeating 3 times we can just write it as a cube. So let me write over here volume of 30 cubes is 30 times 1.5 to the power of 3. Now let us find out what is the value we get here. So here we got it as 405 over 4 or in terms of decimal is 101.25. So 101.25 centimeter cube. So out of the total volume of 113.097, 101.25 was used to make 30 cubes. Now let us find out the amount of metal not used. So it's going to be volume of sphere minus volume of 30 cubes. So volume of metal not used is total volume of sphere minus volume of 30 cubes. So here we have volume of sphere as 113.097 minus volume of 30 cubes is 101.25. So this will give us a value of 11.847. So let me write here 11.847 centimeter cube. Now in the question they have asked us to find the percentage of metal not used. So percentage of metal not used is going to be volume of metal not used divided by the total volume of the sphere. So let me write here. So percentage of metal not used is volume of metal not used divided by total volume of the sphere times 100. So let us substitute the values now. So here we have got volume of metal not used is 11.847 divided by total volume of the sphere is 113.097 times 100. So let us check what is the value we get. So here we get the value 10.475 or I will round it as 10.48. So here we have the percentage as 10.48% of the metal not used. So this is the value of the part C of this question. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.